Hi everybody, it's me again, and uh, in this video I would like to update you on my situation and moreover talk about a new medicine that I've been added to my current regimen, uh, which is Lamotrigine uh, or Lamictal, as, is, as it's known in the United States. Before this, I'm sorry about my voice, it's not very, you know, clear sometimes because I'm recovering from a laryngitis and so it's still, you know, I feel really, you know, drowsy and not really good, so I, I feel a bit stupid actually, but it's not, it's not because of the medicine, it's because I have uh, summer flu and so, you know, uh, I'm feeling a little down. But mood-wise, I'm feeling better. Um, I've been to my psychiatrist and uh, I've been upping my quetiapine to 200 milligrams. That was basically, I think, one or uh, two months ago. And uh, it really had some, uh, you know, some, some things. But still I was, you know, dealing with some difficulties on the, you know, on the spending and uh, uh, impulses and self-harming issues and so you know uh, my psychiatrist told me uh, well uh, let's add Lamictal uh, and see if um, if it can you know stabilize your mood and uh, basically even a little bit your uh, you know your downs and your ups so uh, I've been taking Lamictal since about three weeks now and well I'll, I'll explain to you a bit about this medicine uh, don't worry I, I'm not smoking this is actually an electronic cigarette because I, I quit smoking a while ago and this is tremendously help helping me with the, you know with the with the thing about smoking because uh, this is a bit off topic but uh, you know as an ex-smoker of uh, five years and one packet a day uh, habit I will never basically stop smoking it was because of health related issues you know I have a slight tachycardia and so uh, smoking was uh, exacerbating it and so I had to I had to stop. Um, and I'm doing well on this electronic cigarette, you know, it's very helping and, you know, it uh, also helps with the social factor, you know, smoking with friends and stuff, and while I'm, I'm at the computer, watching movies, you know, going out and stuff. Uh, I was talking about Lamictal. Lamictal uh, is an anticonvulsant, which has, obviously, as many anticonvulsants, uh, mood stabilizing properties. Uh, why do anticonvulsants have mood stabilizing properties? It's not known, but there is a theory about mm, some mental illnesses such as bipolar disorder, panic disorder, and, and others. Um, there is a theory that they are basically subclinical epilepsy. So you, you don't have seizures, but uh, you know it's like abnormal activity in the brain and so uh, this can cause the mood swings and you know the panic disorder and other other illness. So um, Lamictal is an, a broad spectrum anti anticonvulsant. Uh, it's a medication that uh, acts in the brain by uh, basically slowing it down because it binds to uh, it blocks actually uh, the bond, some receptors which are called um, uh, no, sorry, some channels which are called voltage-gated sodium channels, and when they are activated, they stimulate the release of uh, excitatory neurotransmitters in the brain, such as glutamate, glutamate and aspartate, and solamotrigine uh, slows down these these receptors basically and uh, prevents the release of these excitatory neurotransmitters, um, thereby uh, stabilizing uh, the, you know, the um, uh, brain activity. Um, Lamotrigine 
uh, is a complicated medication in the way that it's very uh, slow to get to the therapeutic level because it has a, uh, although although rare, it carries a warning for a pot, pot, potentially um, deathly rash. Uh, and so it has to be started at a very low dose and then titrating up uh, until your therapeutic level at 25 milligrams per week. So basically you begin in uh, to you begin with the 25 milligrams which uh, you take for week one and two, then 50 week two and three, and then um, 100 week five and uh, 150 with week six and 200 week seven which normally 200 is the um, therapeutic dosage. Uh, I've been titrating up a bit more uh, quickly but um, luckily uh, until now I didn't have any side effect, uh, any serious side effects. Um, so for now my doctor told me to take 100 milligrams but uh, you know um, it could be that uh, the dosage will be adjusted later on. Uh, now I am in week 3 of treatment and I'm taking 75 and tomorrow I will enter in week 4 so I'm gonna take 100 milligrams which would be my, therapy, my, my dosage for now. Then I will be seeing my psychiatrist in a while, and then we will discuss we will discuss whether to up the dosage or to stay at this dosage. Um, what I can say is that until now, it really helped my depression, not so much with mania because it tends to even out the mania at higher dosages, but with depression, it has been really a godsend because I can say that I never, I, I've uh, not been having depress, serious depressive episodes uh, while taking Lamictal um, and that's obviously a very positive thing. I've been hypomanic a couple of times, you know, great creativity, I was uh, writing poems and, you know, um, playing the piano and uh, spending a, a lot of money uh, and well that's not really a good thing I've been having some you know some aggressivity but uh, you know I I hope that it will even out when I will you know up the dosage for the rest I have to say I didn't have any side effects, any serious side effects. I've been having some dry mouth, which is obviously, uh, you know, a bad thing because I have to drink a lot of water in order to keep my mouth water, hydrated. And, uh, well, I'm taking three medications that basically dry your mouth because free stick dries your mouth, with iodine dries your mouth, and lamictal dries your mouth. So. Basically, I'm having the Sahara Desert in my mouth, but well, it's a small price to pay compared to the benefits of this treatment. I hope this will be the, my final treatment uh, and my maintenance treatment, and I will be on this. I hope I will be on these three medications for well, my life, or you know, until they poop out or, or stop working. Um, uh, well, side effects of Lamictal. Lamictal is generally, generally an activating medication that means that it can stimulate you. Uh, so it's generally taken in two doses, one in the morning and one in the afternoon. But for basically more or less 20% of uh, the population taking Lamictal can be sedating so they take it at night. Uh, I'm taking in the morning and in the afternoon because it's slightly activated for me, which is obviously uh, a good thing because we die at being tends me to um, basically to you know um, to sedate me, but uh, not so much now because I'm being taken.
taking for a few months now and uh, so it's not really a problem but you know since I can't really take caffeine because it destabilizes me it's good to have an activating medication a slightly stimulating uh, medicine um, well side effects as I said dry mouth then uh, cognitive impairment is uh, not so common with lamictal it's common with, uh, with um, other anticonvulsants such as topamax or uh, tegretol or traleptal or uh, you know depakol not so much with the lamotrigin but some people notice it I, I really notice the opposite since it calls Calms basically your my mind it makes me think more more clearly. I had an exam, I I got a A minus, so it's really good. Um, well, as I said, cognitive impairment, then uh, the rash, which can be serious. And uh, the first sign of a rash, you have to call your doctor because it may or it may not be serious, but you know, um, better safe than sorry. So call your doctor if you are taking lamictal, especially during the first six to eight weeks, and you are noticing a rash. Call your doctor and uh, you know get it checked. Then. Um, Let's see, insomnia can be can be uh, a problem with some people for some people taking lamictal. Uh, vivid dreams. I had some vivid dreams. It's pleasant for me because it gives me basically a motivation to go to sleep. Uh, because you know I like this living another life during sleep. I didn't have any nightmares, which is good. Uh, then let's see other side effects of Lamictal uh, on the top of my head I can't really think about any other side effects if you wait one second I will basically I will try to remember some others uh, acne some people some people report acne with uh, with Lamictal it's not my case but uh, some people report acne and there is a Potentially, um, I, 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 I don't say dangerous, but there is a potential um, interaction with birth control pills. So, girls, women who are taking lamictal and birth control pills, um, you know, pay attention because you can have an undesired pregnancy because lamictal tends to. Um, tends to decrease the level of uh, proge basically progestins and uh, estrogen contained in the control pills. Then let's see other other side effects that I that I notice. Well, the, the, the real side effect that I notice is dry, is dry mouth. It could cause double vision. It could cause uh, balance problems. Um, I didn't notice any of this. Uh, Lamictal is not generally associated with sexual dysfunction. Um, so I think that's basically it for side effects. One interesting thing of Lamictal is that it binds to melanin rich uh, tissues in the body, so the iris of the, of the, um, of the eye, which is the color part and uh, birthmarks on, on your body, uh, lamictal binds to them. The effects are unknown, you know, there is no really, no clinical significance for that, but there is a concern that long term can cause toxicity, but you know, it's really an unknown, unknown thing. And uh, I personally don't think it is an issue, but you know, until the, there will be studies um, about this, this potential side effects, we are really you know, not knowing the, the significance of this, of this side effect, uh, or of this uh, effect of uh, this medication. Uh, 
as I said, Lamicta has to be titrated very, very slowly and uh, also discontinued very slowly because it can cause uh, rebound headaches, uh, rebound seizures, I mean, if you are epileptic. And also you have to be cautious if you are not epileptic because it can cause, if you are taking a high dose, it can cause seizures. So be careful with titrating down. Uh, well, that's basically that's basically it for now. And uh, as always, if you have some question or, or you know something you would like to ask me, you can send me a private message or you can uh, you can write me a comment, and I will try to um, I will try to answer as soon as possible. I hope you are doing better or you are doing fine uh, or you will do better. And uh, well, have a nice day. Bye.